for the people of Fulton County, so will I. And I promise you, I will bring honor and integrity back to the office of District Attorney. Trust me, you will be seeing a lot more of Tia Giles. Excuse me, Miss Giles, but are you sure you're ready to make such a huge commitment? And would you be willing to make a similar commitment to your number one supporter? Lance Kingston, Epiphany Magazine. I know you're not answering any questions, but I do have one. Lance, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm asking you for the third time to marry me. And hoping like hell you don't humiliate me in front of all these people by saying no again. You just don't give up, do you? No. Nope. Not on you. Tia Giles, will you marry me? Please? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. We have a what the hell, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting married. What did you think about Lance's proposal? It was cute, huh? Yes, it was cute, Tia. I was just surprised. I didn't even know you were thinking about marrying Lance. Well, he did ask me to marry him three times, Mom. I probably should have said yes the first time. But you told him you weren't ready. Besides, sweetheart, that was your moment. And he used it to railroad you into a marriage proposal. Mom, I'm glad that he railroaded me, okay? The more time that I have to think about it, the more excuses I come up with. Not excuses, dear. Reasons. Yeah, reasons, reasons. The same reasons why I broke up with every other man I've ever dated. Tia, honey, think about your career. And your health. You know, the election is next year. What about all the stress it will bring trying to plan a wedding, an election campaign? It, it's going to be too much, honey. What, what about my life, Mom? When do I get to start thinking about that? OK. Listen, honey. Mom, Mom, listen. I may lose the election, but I'm not going to lose Lance. I'm not. I, I got to go. I got to go, OK? All right, good night. OK. OK. I believe you bought a different ring every time you proposed. <laughs> That's a little weird. I know, right? Hopefully those other two can be sold on eBay. But I some money for You know, I am curious, though, I must say. What made you say yes this time? I mean, not that I'm complaining or right, anything. Well, there are times of charm, right? And I didn't really get a chance to think of a reason to say no, so I just follow my heart. Hmm. So the sneak attack slash ambush did the trick? Yes, pretty much. Did the trick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, um, 
It's been a while since I stayed over. Mm, and, um, not, not tonight, okay? Um, my, my bedroom's a mess. Oh, okay. Are you sure that's the real reason? Look, I just don't like to have sex all the time, okay? I mean, I just want it to be special. Not like right now when I'm tired. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's, it's, it's cool. I get it. I mean, it's not like we don't have the rest of our lives, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, you could sound a little happy about your little brother getting hitched. And after all, I am going to need you to be my best man. Oh, really? <laughs> I am happy for you. It's just, I'm wondering why it took three proposals to get the girl to say yes. You know, Tia, I mean, she's unpredictable, which is actually one of the things I love about her. She keeps me on my toes. And I just needed to time it right and... Trick her? No, get her to follow her heart and not her mind. Mm. Don't get me wrong, Lance. I love me some Tia, I do. But you know, sometimes she can be a little off. Well, it is coming up on a year since her grandfather died, and I'm sure that's been on her mind lately. And we both know how that is. Yeah, we do. Can you believe it is almost 15 years since mom and dad died? Yeah. It still feels like yesterday. Yeah. So, what's all this about me being your best man? Oh, yes. So, you down? Dude, I'm your sister who's been your mama, your <laughs> father your prom date, your business partner, and now I got to be your best man, too? Cool. I'll take that as a yes. Ah! This is because I look good in a tuxedo. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'm going to house the campaign headquarters here in my offices. There's plenty of room, and I don't want to pay for another space for just a few months. Yes, yes, I'm going to do the grand opening next Friday. No, no, next Friday. Okay, and I, I need everyone to be here, okay? Or, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. Hello? Yeah, can you see if you can set up the deposition for next Friday? Wait. No, okay, yeah, yeah, um, sorry, next, next Saturday. What? Okay, yes, ne oh, ne Thursday? Wait, 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 when are we doing the, the, wait, I, ho hold on, okay? Just... Let me call you, let me call you back.
Where on earth have you been? I went to the pharmacy, the video store, got some of those five dollar DVDs. Look, Shaft, Foxy Brown, black exploitation at its best. Got some books too. How many times do I have to tell you to leave me a note, text me, or something to let me know where you're going? Yes, ma'am. I'm serious, Leo. Look, sis, I know you are. I came back in one piece, didn't I? Just like always. Did you get all of them? Yep. Have you talked to you? He's not speaking to me. <laughs> what else is new? One of these days, she'll have children and she'll understand a mother's job is to protect her child. Oh, really? And a sister's job is to nag the hell out of her brother. I brought barbecue chicken home for dinner. You should eat before it's cold. So, uh, when is the wedding? Wedding? There isn't going to be a wedding. Tia was just caught up in one of her impulses, and she will come to her senses. Well, just in case she doesn't come to her senses, don't you think you should try to track down Jameson? Jameson? Well, I was just thinking that a man probably would want to know when his only daughter is getting married. If that man cared about his daughter, he would not have tucked his tail and run off when things got rough. So no, Leo, I will not be tracking down Jameson because his daughter is better off without him. Okay. No, today was just rough. Yeah. It was a lot. Vacation. We'll take one. Vacation. Soon. Yes. Beach. Yes. Jet skis? Maybe. Okay. I don't know my hair. <laughs> Compliments of District Attorney Bernstein. Joy. Thank you. Uh, it looks like your opponent is trying to make nice. And here he comes, yep. Tia Giles and Lance Kingston, Atlanta's power couple. <laughs> Just wanted to send you over a little congratulatory gift. Well, thank you. Well, it's the least I can do. Might as well be nice now, because when the campaign kicks off, the gloves come off. Oh, I'm shaking in my stilettos. You know, I consider it an honor that the governor appointed me to complete your grandfather's term. I just want to carry on the good work that I've started in his name and pray the people allow me to do so. Do you know where my grandfather was going when his car ran off the road, Pa? He was on his way to court to prosecute a man who you had defended. A man accused of killing his wife and his three children. So you see, Paul, my grandfather spent the last moments of his life fighting for justice and trying to rid society of the scumbags who you have represented. Your grandfather's death was a Don't terrible you loss speak to speak about my grandfather like that. I know what you're trying to do, Paul. I know. Where'd you get this champagne from, huh? What's in it? What's in the champagne, Paul? Okay, uh, sorry. I know sorry. what you're trying to do, and you will not destroy me the way you destroyed I... my grandfather. I, that's not... Paul, thank you for the champagne, but if you don't mind... Just try to calm down, okay? How am I supposed to drink something like this? Can we just enjoy How am I supposed it? to drink this? Mm. How? Take it back. Oh, um. I'm sorry. So, hey, no, sorry. No, no, no. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I didn't. No, wait. I didn't mean to. Just sit down, please. Oh. Just sit. Don't worry. Just sit. Just have a seat. Sorry, everybody. No, so, not a I didn't. I didn't mean to. 
Go sit down, go sit down. I bet you're exhausted. <sighs> so much going on. And um, don't let that Bernstein get to you, okay? It's just an idiot. Tia? Hey. Tia. What? Are you, are you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm fine. Yeah, you know I get when I'm tired. Let's just, um... Let's go. Wait. Let's get married. Yeah, uh, that's that's the idea. I'm, I'm glad I thought about it first. No, I mean like, like now, like this weekend. Let's get married now. What? We can sneak away, just the two of us. No planning, no stress. Just you and me. Yeah, but what about your mom and your uncle? I mean, what, what about Beverly? Well, we can do a big wedding later, after the election. Dude, what is this about? I mean, I know your mom's not crazy about us getting married, so are you doing this to try to keep And her once we get married, she'll have no choice but to accept it. So, what do you say? Wanna run away and get hitched with me this weekend? Of course I do, yes. Yes? Yes, yes. That's yes. A great, okay. <laughs> great. Okay, come on. Let's see. I gotta pack. I gotta get this. This, uh, I don't want to have sex all the time. Yes, but it is our honeymoon. You know what? What? You're right. Wait, 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 wait. We should, we should, we should do this right. Like, let's, let's put on some music. Yeah, let's put on some music. Who's gonna? Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tia, wait, just give me a second. One second, I'll be right back. Really? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back, I'll be back. For what? What are you doing? I, I gotta get my uh, blue pill. That's a joke. I don't. I don't need a blue pill. I look. I'm just brushing my teeth because I had so much garlic for dinner. Just stay there. You look beautiful. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up.
Mom, come, please, please, just come out. No, 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 please, leave me alone. No, just leave me alone. Come out, come out, I'm sorry, please, 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 just come out. Come out, come out, please. What's wrong? What is it? Help me! Get him out! 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 Get Yes, that's it. Thank you. Uh, if you want, we can get breakfast downstairs before we head out. Oh no, I just I'm ready to go home. Can we just leave? Sure, sure. Okay. You know, you really scared me last night. I wonder what it was you saw. What are you talking about? Last night, you were scared and screaming like you thought someone was trying to hurt you. Oh, uh, I don't know. Huh. I only asked because it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm just a little stressed out right now. But don't worry, it won't happen again. Good idea for her to go back to work? Well, that's what I said, but she insisted. I mean, Beth, it was so bizarre. She was terrified, like someone was attacking her. She did, and afterwards, she didn't remember any of it. She, she finally just said she was stressed out. Well, stress can do a lot of crazy things to women. Not to mention being menopausal. She's in her 20s. She's not menopausal. No, I think it's just the pressure from the election and the, all that stuff about her grandfather and trying to follow in his footsteps. I mean, maybe she had a, the right idea about us waiting to do a big wedding. It may be so. Even though I was disappointed about not getting to be the best man. <laughs> anyway... How is the redesign coming along? It's coming, but we will be ready to launch and go live in two weeks. Good. Lance, do you think? What? No, nothing, never mind. What? Well, do you think it could be drugs with Tia? No, no way. She's just stressed out. Trust me, it'll be okay. Yeah, that's probably all it is.
grandfather's death. Your grandfather's death was a terrible mess. Your grandfather's death was a terrible mess. Too much to pick up the damn telephone, Tia, and tell me first before you go running off to New York and marry this man? Sweetheart, what were you thinking? I was thinking that I love Lance, Mom. I was thinking that if I didn't marry him, I might lose him. I was thinking that maybe for once in my life, I deserve some happiness. Okay. Fine. Lance makes you happy. I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you and Lance come over for dinner tonight and we can celebrate, right? And then he can invite Beverly. What'd you say? Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. You're gonna love Lance. He's a really good guy. You just have to get to know him. Mm. I'll work on it. Are there photos? You know there are. Can I see them? And you know it was fabulous. I know you were. <laughs> I'll go get them. Okay. How many times do I have to tell you to put that thermos away and use a glass when company is here? Tia, sweetheart, you cannot blame me for being salty, for missing my only daughter's wedding? Mom, I already told you it was not a wedding. We just exchanged vows. Well, I'm happy for you and Lance, Tia. Yes. But, sweetheart, please be careful. I mean, I know he's your husband and he's great and all. But do not get attached because if he's anything like your father, I'm sorry. Which she probably is. I'm sorry, I'm talking to her. She knows exactly what's best for him. No, she doesn't. Why don't you leave her alone? No, I'm not picky. Excuse me. Hello. I'm in the room. Hey. Just want to check on you guys, see if you need help with anything. Tia, let's put the salad on the dining room table. It's actually finished now. Uh, is there anything I can bring out? Lovely. Yeah, this table looks fantastic. Thank you for having us over. Well, perhaps we should pray. You know, bless the table. That'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be sorry. Cool. Yeah, we, we probably should. Come on. Well, Leo, you're so present this evening. It's a good idea. Father, Mother, God, we thank you for this gathering, for the food that has been prepared for the nourishment of body. For Christ's sake, amen. Amen. amen.
Oh, well, I hate to eat and run, everyone, but I've got that big photo shoot in the morning with Rihanna. So don't be late, little brother. Oh, Good night. Night to you. Oh. Um, well, thank you yes. for having me over. And um, this has been really good. Indeed. Jack Carroll. Yeah. Tia, dear, let's do the dishes. Come. Hang in there, man. Tia? I know what's going on. And we need to deal with it before it gets out of the hand. Lance runs in the family. What do you mean? Damn it. I forgot my water. I'll be right back. Kitchen and remember, already took my mess for today. <laughs> my bad. Have a good night, Lance. Got some articles to edit. Okay. I think it's that serious. Do you? I don't know. 
I mean, yes, she was a little strange at dinner. I was stiff as a board when I hugged her goodbye, but mentally ill? No, I can't call it. Then what did Leo mean when he said Ron's in the family? And why does he have all those pills for psychosis and schizophrenia? I mean, haven't you always wondered why he still lives with Virginia? And why she's so protective over him and Tia? Yeah, but Lance, you've been with Tia for two years now. And all that time you couldn't tell something was strange, and then all of a sudden? I know, but they're triggers. And if she was taking her meds, everything would be normal. But when she goes off her meds, or there's a stressful situation that happens in her life. Like her grandfather's death. And a campaign. Or rushing into marriage. I I'm just spitballing here. I mean, Tia is an attorney running a campaign. She's a strong, independent, smart woman. I mean, yeah, I always thought girlfriend was a little bit crazy, but not show enough crazy. Like white folk take pills, lay on the couch crazy. But just regular girl, you crazy, crazy. I think she needs to see a therapist. Well, good luck with that. Because black chicks don't do therapists. Pastor, maybe. Girlfriend, possibly. Hairdresser, definitely. But therapist, no. Well, I got to do something, Bev. I guess I just need to do some more digging. Well, dig all you want, little brother, but a good journalist goes straight to the source. Talk to Tia. She's your wife. I mean, you guys should be able to have this kind of discussion now. I mean, you should have had this kind of discussion before she became your wife, but better late than too late. All right. Thank you. stuff you have in tea move. <laughs> I went to see your mom today. I wasn't, you know, trying to do it behind your back or anything, but um, you have to admit you haven't really been yourself lately. So I wanted to know if maybe... If I was insane? I know. She told me. Of course she did. Well? Well, what? Am I crazy? Well, well it's just, it's just the other night when I, when I was talking to Leo, he had all this, all this medicine all over the place, and he said something that I thought was a little bit strange. Um, something about some stuff running in your family. Nothing. All right. Um, listen. I love you. Okay? And I just want to make sure that if anything is bothering you or if anything's wrong, that you do know you can tell me, don't you? Sure. But nothing is wrong. I'm good. Look, I have to be at headquarters at 7, so I'm going to get ready for bed. You want to come? Yeah. I'll be right there. Okay.
Mom. Mom, Lance is gonna leave me. He's gonna leave me. He's gonna leave me. He's gonna, he knows. He knows, and he's gonna leave me just like Dad. He's gonna leave me. Tia, stop it. Calm down. How long ago did you stop taking the meds? I don't know. Tia, think. I don't know. Okay. It's okay. You have some pills left over from the time before, right? Go get the other prescriptions from Dr. Monroe tomorrow and take them. Just for now. Honey, you're just having a little episode. You will snap back. You always do. Mom, Mom, I hate the pills. I hate the pills. I can't work. I can't think. And I have my campaign and my practice, Mom. Lance is going to leave me. I, I mean, I'm not that bad, right? I, I, I just need some time. I just need time, right? Yes, you just need some time and the pills will help. Just for now. Okay? Okay. Okay, j just for now. Now be sure to keep them out of sight. If Lance questions you again, tell him anything. Tell him it's hormones. Men always believe that. Tia? You okay, honey? Um, yes! I I'm just taking a shower i'll be right out okay mom i i have to go i'll i'll um I'll, I'll take my meds and everything will be fine and tia don't worry i won't let anything happen to you okay love you Have you seen my cell phone charger? No, baby, I haven't seen it. I don't know. You mind if I use yours? Oh, yeah, it's over there by the bar. <laughs> I'll be happy when we get this house organized. <sighs> Who's... Dr. Monroe. Oh, um... Dr. Monroe is... She's my OBGYN. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna wait to tell you this until dinner, but, um... I'm pregnant. Wait, you're, you're what? Yes. You're... We're, 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 we're going to have a baby. And that, that's why I've been acting all nutty, you know? What? Yes. Uh, you're, pre you're pregnant? Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. That makes so much sense. <laughs> oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I put you through the third degree. And I was talking to, you know, Uncle Leo, and he was talking about the meds. And then I, I just freaked out. And I don't know, the, the hotel scene. And, <laughs> uh, you're going to have a baby! <laughs> baby time! <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. Oh my gosh, I, I cannot tell you how relieved and happy I am. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you're happy. Well, your labs look great. Tia, I can't tell you how happy it makes me that you're resuming treatment. How have you been doing? Fine, just fine. 
Well, with a new husband and political campaign, any disruption to your normal routine might trigger a... Oh, no, no, no. Every, everything's fine, Dr. Monroe. I just thought I'd come down and get the meds. You know, just in case. Tia, you have to stay on your meds at all times. Mm, uh, they, uh, they make me feel strange. I feel all sluggish and tired and <laughs> cannot run a campaign like that. I need to be sharp and on my toes. Now, I understand that, but if you have an episode... Oh, then... no, 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 I won't. I won't. I, I, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. I, I, I have it under control. Tia. I just need the meds. Just to take the edge off. Now, you know, that's not how this works. Yes, it does. I'm not that sick, okay? I'm not like Leo. I'm not like other people. I just have a lot going on right now. You know? I'm fine. I got it. I can't believe you didn't tell your mother. Well, it's fine. She probably just forgot with her pregnancy brain and all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mom, Uncle Leo, I did some redecorating, and I'd love to show you what I did with the bedroom. We'd love to see that. OK. Show me. Come with. <laughs> My glass, please, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Atia, you're not really pregnant, are you? Mom, I'm not pregnant. That's just what I told Lance, so he would stop asking me questions. You what? What are you going to tell him when nine months go by and there's no baby, or three months and there's no belly? I'll tell him that I had a miscarriage and convince him to adopt. Or you could just always get pregnant for real. And, and what? Have a baby like me, or you, or granddad? No, thank you. I'll just tell him that I can't have any more kids, and maybe we should go somewhere and... Lying. Look, you married this man because you're afraid of losing him. Then you kept this secret because you're afraid he'll run off like your daddy did when he found out you were sick. Now you're going to lie to him about his baby? you make this man run away for sure. We'll ignore him. Did you get your prescriptions? Yes, but mom, I don't need to take any meds. Lance isn't going to be suspicious of anything I do now because he'll think it's because of the baby. Honey, I don't know if... Mom, I don't like the medication, okay? I can't afford to be tired 16 hours out of the day. I have a campaign, a practice, a husband to keep happy. But trust me, I have all of this under control, okay? And if it gets bad, then I'll take my meds. But right now, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Okay. Let me show you what I did to the bathroom. Site is up and ready to roll. Tomorrow's the big night we launch, my brother. 
There's no OBGYN in the area named Dr. Monroe. Tia said the Dr. Monroe that she had an appointment with was her OBGYN. But the nearest OBGYN named Monroe is over an hour away. Okay, so there's no Dr. Monroe in the area. Big deal. Well, there is. But she's not an OBGYN. Mrs. Kingston, are you going to start anytime soon? Um, yes. Yes. Um, Mr. Woods? Collins Woods? Yes, that's right. Let's just stop the games, shall we? Mr. Bernstein set you up to this, didn't he? I'm sorry, who? Paul Bernstein, the district attorney. He set you up to this. It's okay. Tell the truth. You're under oath. Your Honor. Mrs. Kingston, this is a class action settlement hearing. The DA has nothing to do with it. Your clients. No, 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 you're wrong, Your Honor. You're wrong. I am so fed up with liars. Low down, dirty scumbags like Mr. Woods and Mr. Bernstein trying to undermine my hard work. You are a liar. Seriously, a Your Honor. A liar. Seriously, your client is a liar, and I have proof. Your Honor, you have to I stop have this. Mrs. I Kingston. Have proof. I have proof. Mrs. Proof that he is a liar. Mrs. A King, liar. That's all you do. Tell them. What the hell's Tell the matter them. with you? Your Honor, I want to sue this woman for, I don't know, harassment or something. Oh, you want to sue me? You, yes. You want to sue Mrs. me? Mrs. Kingston. I told you. He's in cahoots with Bernstein. Where is he? Where is Bernstein? Your Honor, stop he this. He killed my grandfather, and now he's trying to kill me. He killed him, and he's coming after me. He's gonna hurt me and you're gonna let him. You're gonna let him. Mrs. He Kingston. He's gonna Bernstein and he's gonna try to kill me. He's gonna try to kill me now. He's gonna try to kill me. And you're gonna let him do it? He's in cahoots with him. Help! Help me! What's wrong with you people? Help! Help me! How long have you known me and you wanna let him just stay in here? Can I help you? Um, I just wanted to see if my wife, Tia Giles, is a patient here. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give you that information. I don't need any information. I just need to confirm that. That's it. I understand, but if your wife is a patient here, she'd have to authorize you as someone. No, that no, no. She doesn't have to authorize anything. Just you, you call Dr. Monroe. Call Dr. Monroe out. I'm I just... sorry, sir. But as I said, your wife has to authorize you if she's a patient That's right. here. Right, yeah, you said that. Yeah. You know, can I ask you a quick question? How am I supposed to help my wife if no one wants to tell me what's wrong with her? Huh? Sir, I understand your concern, and I'm really sorry, but I just can't You really can't.
Tia, I know something's going on with you. What? You think I'm on drugs? No. But I, I think you may be sick. I'm pregnant, Lance. No. Pregnant. Stop. Hey, stop it. Please. For once, just stop lying to me. But I'm not lying to you. Why are you treating me like this? Tia, I went to Dr. Monroe's office, OK? I know who she is. She's not your OBGYN. She's your psychiatrist. She told you that? She's not supposed to tell you that I'm her patient. She did it. But you just did. Great. Great, so... Now you want to leave. Great. So, uh, so now you want to leave? No, no, no. no I know no. you want to leave, so you can just no, leave. No, I want to talk about just this. Just go. You want to talk about what? You want to talk about you leaving? Let's talk about you leaving. Let's get all your stuff together while we talk about you leaving. No. When, when I proposed to you, I promised I would never give up on you. Do you remember that? I meant it. It's true, isn't it? I mean, did, did it ever occur to you that this is something you should have told me before we got married? Do you hear what you just said? That's why I didn't tell you. That's why I didn't tell any of them. My mom told me not to do this. I don't care what your mom told you to do or what happened with these other guys. You didn't even trust me enough to tell me the truth. You, you strung me along. You, you lied to me. And then you pretended to be pregnant for crying out loud. And everybody knew. Everybody knew except for Are me. Are you mad? No, no you what? mad? Stop. Get mad. Just Get stop. mad so no, you can leave. No, just stop. So you can leave and I'm not sick. Dude, what the hell is this, I'm Tia? I'm not sick. I don't huh? know. Huh? I am sick of this roller coaster ride. Fine. You know what? Cool. I I'll just leave. I'll no, go. No, I'm not, I'm I'll not leave. saying it. No, 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 no. Don't, stop. don't put your hands on me. Are you trying to kill me? I knew it. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I will not let you no, hurt me. Stay away from me. Would you, who are you calling? Would you stop? Hello? Hang on. Hello, can hey, you please hey, get to my house right now? My husband's trying to kill me. What? He has a knife and he's going to stab me. Can you please hurry up? What? We're, we're on 1617 Found, Found Lake Circle. Please come hurry up because I'm scared. I'm really scared. Please come. I'm scared. Please. Please. Officers, hey, I'm sorry about this. this that's him. Really... That's him, officers. Are you that's serious? my husband that tried to kill me. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. That's Look, him. this is a, this is a misunderstanding. My wife isn't well. Do you tell them? Please, come on. Just, he tried just to grab listen me to me. And I, I lunched back and then. What are you telling them? What are you telling them? Tia, come on. Officer, will you just just talk to her, please? This is a misunderstanding. This is a mistake. I don't know. He, um, he just learned it. I, 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 Come on, Tia. Thank you. Tia! Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't let him out. Don't let him out. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I'm 
tell me that. No. No. No, I don't believe you. Been trying to reach you and Lance all day. Is Lance here? No, he's in jail. He's where? Mom was right about him. I had him arrested for trying to kill me. He's the one who killed Grandpa, him and Paul Bernstein. Then they tried to kill me together, and I was like, mm. but don't worry. I called the cops, and they came and took him away. <clears throat> Uh, sweetie, so I was thinking that why don't you suspend your campaign a bit, just until the dust settles? Mm, no, no. Grandpa told me not to quit. And he's here. Grandpa's here. Do you see him? He told me I could come with him. So I think I'm going to go with him. Oh, no, 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 sweetie. Mommy needs you to stay here with her and Uncle Leo. Listen, I am going to meet with Judge Gilmore tomorrow for lunch, and I'm going to see if I can convince her to change her mind about banning you in her courtroom. Mm -mm, she can ban me. I don't care. You know, honey, you don't want to throw your career away like this. No, I don't want to be a lawyer anymore. I think we need to bring her home with us. No, no, I'm fine. I just, I just need to rest. It's the pills. But you haven't had your pills. Uh, I just Tia. don't okay, want to go. Okay, okay, Tia, I need you to stop this. I Mom. need you to stop playing victim. Mom. Shut down this Let pity party and get back to being the Tia Giles I raised. Let go of hey, 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 it. Get your hands up. Ma, chill. Come on. I don't have time for that. Reading and books, and I just don't want to. You do it. You do it. And make me do something. What the hell's wrong with you? When are you gonna stop chastising that job? Something she can't control. She can control it. She just can't give in to it. This is not the time for her to be weak. So that's what being schizophrenic means? You're weak? It only hurts people who give in to it? Is that what you feel about me, Virginia? Is that what you thought about Dad? You're the last person I need a lecture from. <laughs> right, because Leo's crazy. Leo's weak. And now your daughter's gonna die just like Dad. Have you taken your meds? Oh, I've taken my meds, Jenny. Take them every day like clockwork. I make sure that so do you. You don't mind a handful of people knowing that your brother's half crazy, except those that you tell I'm disabled. What is it? Bad back from playing football? You go to your trusty little pharmacist friend. You know, the one you helped out when he was in trouble. And he keeps everything nice and quiet for you and me and Tia. You can't have anyone know that Virginia Giles' brilliant daughter, the lawyer, and next DA is schizophrenic or bipolar. Who knows what the hell else? 
You even got her so convinced that there's nothing really wrong with her. But we all know better than that. And now Lance knows that pretty soon everybody else is going to know it too. Now you're talking like a crazy person. <laughs> I am crazy. <laughs> Remember? Just like our dad was. He was so ravaged by his own mind that he drove his car into the river. And everyone thought it was an accident. Because Jenny never told anyone that he left a suicide note. What was that supposed to do? Watch everything he worked for be discredited by people who thought he was insane. I didn't let that happen to him, and I'm not going to let it happen to Tia. And neither will you. I guess someone else is going to have to die, too. No, someone else is going to come pick you up and take you home. She's upstairs asleep. She's had a rough night. Yeah, well, she's not the only one. With all due respect, Virginia, get the hell out of my way. Who do you think you're talking to? This is my house. And that is my wife. And my daughter. All right. All right. You know what? I was going to talk to you about this later, but since you're already here and apparently ripe for a fight, why not? I want to know what is wrong with my wife. And this time, I want you to tell me the truth. You want to know the truth? Do you, Lance? Well, here's the truth. You need to stop second-guessing your wife, stop criticizing everything she does, and realize she's stressing herself out to try and please you. Me? So this is my fault? The, the, the outbursts? The mood swings? Your family's history with mental illness? My fault? Try again. No, you try again. Try trusting your wife. Try loving her. Stop judging her. I do love her, Virginia. But not the way that you love her. What are you talking about? Your love comes with strings and conditions. You don't give a damn about your daughter or anybody else. You just use people to make yourself look good. But the funny thing is, luck would have it, you seem to have drawn the short end of the stick now, didn't you? A mentally ill father, brother, and daughter. What is poor Virginia to do? I'm not leaving my daughter here with you. Then I'll have the police escort your ass out. That number will be 911.
wake up. We gotta go. Lord? Come on, sweetheart. Well, <clears throat> Lance is back. He tried to come upstairs, but I told him no. So we are getting your things, sweetheart, and we are walking out of this house. You don't say anything, okay? Let me handle it. No, 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 mommy. Let's just lock the door because I'm scared. I don't want to go out. No, 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 sweetheart, no. No need to be afraid, okay? You're coming home with mommy. Come on. I know, but she still won't leave. Oh, she'll leave. I'm on my way. I'm so sick of her mess. No, Beverly, just let me handle Virginia. When she leaves, I'll sit here down and have a talk with her. Listen, you know I will catch a case over my little brother. I don't play that. I know, but we don't need more than one jailbird in the family. Just handle things back at the office, and I'll call you if I need. Call me. I... What's this? What's going on, Tia? Tia's gonna stay with me for a few days, just to give you some time. No, I'm, I'm fine. Baby, I'm fine. I Look, I'll cook us something to eat and we can just sit and relax. Just the two of us. Come, just... just. What, you got a scared of me? What have you been telling? I get... You've got no right to do this. I have every right to protect my daughter. Every right. Come to you. Wait a minute. No, listen. Don't. Tia, don't let her do this to us, please. Tia! Tia! trying to tell me something. <laughs> I've been trying not to tell you something, Lance. That night with the pill bottles. You need to talk to Tia and Virginia about that. I have. I know that Tia is sick. And I know that Virginia has her convinced that I'm trying to hurt her, but I'm not. I'm not I would never hurt her, Leo. I love her. If Virginia ever finds out I told you anything she won't. What is it? What is she suffering from? Is she bipolar? Schizophrenic? I mean, which one? Both. They call it schizoaffective. She started showing signs when she was about 10 got diagnosed not long after that. Then her old man took off. Jenny says he couldn't handle having a child with mental illness. Jenny got her convinced that she could handle it. 
She don't like taking meds. And when she gets overloaded, she unravels. That's what's happening now. Unraveling. You can save her. But you're going to have to get past my sister first. Yeah. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> you got to be crafty. Just like her. Hmm. Can you handle that, Lance? I'm dropping out of the race. Everyone would be paid through the end of the month. And um, volunteers, I'll make sure you get something for your time as well. See, if this is about the polls. It's not. It's, it's, it's not about the polls. It's not about donations. It's not about the lies that Paul Bernstein is telling about me in the media. It's about my life. And I just need to... to... to stop everything. A campaign. A practice. It's all over. You, you, you all can leave now. I'll be praying for you, Tia. Where's Tia? Gone. Gone where? How would I know? I told her that you wanted her to stay home. But she said she had some place else to go. What was I supposed to do? She took the other car. And by the way, I found this in the trash can. Ms. Kingston's statement went on to say that she has no plans to renew her campaign in the future. And John, we're learning that she's also in the process of shutting down her law firm. I gotta find her, Bev. I gotta talk her into getting some help. Well, I hear you, Lance, but remember the doctor said we gotta get educated or you'll drive her further and further away. I found a support group. I think you should check it out. Beverly, I don't have time for this. Lance, do this the right way or you'll lose her for good. Get some help, bro. She's not capable of, of making these kind of decisions in this current state, Leo. She She's going to regret this. I know it. You can't force her to take her meds, Jenny. You can't force her to do anything she doesn't want to do. You're wrong. When she comes in here, I'm going to get her to change her mind. 
Tia. Hi, honey. Lance is gonna try to take my money. So I took it all out of the bank. I got out as, as much as I could. Mom, can you, can you go tomorrow and get the rest for me? Sweetheart, that's... That's a lot of money. Let me have it, okay? We just don't talk about it. We run, we hide, we lie. And we just sweep it under the rug. Black folks don't suffer from mental illness, right? We're not afraid to own our physical ailments. I mean, we see a doctor. We get help. Not so with mental illness. Not so when it's our minds, not our bodies, that are sick. things in her personality. I just thought she was stressed out, tired. I thought she was a little quirky. It, it never occurred to me that No. No. Please. No. 
Why is she taking your medications to you? Tia? Dr. Monroe asked you a question. Why aren't you taking your medications? Do you know what it's like to be me, Dr. Do you, Mom? You guys poke at me, analyze me, label me. Schizophrenic, bipolar, schizoaffective. But do you really know what it feels like to be me? Of course, honey, we don't know what it feels like. Mom, to... please, just listen. For once. You try not to notice how people look at you. The way they talk to you. Pretend you don't know that they're afraid of you. Pretend you don't care what they say behind your back. Is she drunk? Is she on drugs? Nah, she just crazy. I'm constantly at a war with the world and myself. Most days I feel like I'm on a hamster wheel. And my feet are tired from running. But my mind won't let me stop. And I want to stop running. I want to kill the voices in my head. I want to stop hurting. And for you guys, the answer is simple. Take your meds, Tia. Numb the pain, sleep through the pain. Take your meds. But the pain never leaves me, Mom. My sickness only feeds the pain. set me free. None of this sets me free. today. Good work. Mr. Giles? Jameson Giles? Lance Kingston, I have recognized you from your pictures. I need to talk to you about Tia. Not a good time. Well, I'm not leaving until I get some answers. What do you want to know? Why did you abandon your daughter? Oh. <laughs> you must have been talking to Virginia. That woman. I love my daughter very much. 
and I think about her all the time. But her mother? What about her mother? She gave me a choice. Either to let her raise Tia the way she wanted or leave. <laughs> My decision to leave was easier than it should have been. But I was young and immature. I was scared. We both were. I didn't know if I could raise a mentally ill child. Hell, I wasn't even sure about my own sanity. And now? A lot older, I'm a lot wiser. I tried a few times to reach out to Virginia to see Tia. But she said Tia hated me and didn't want to see me. Hmm. After a while, I gave up. I see. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> You're going to ask it whether I say yes or not. You're an artist, right? Yeah. Me too. A writer, actually. And every time I write something that I think is perfect, I end up finding something I don't like. I know the feeling I go through with my paintings. But you keep them, don't you? Hmm? You appreciate them. And you still show them off to the world. You probably love all your creations. Flaws and all. Right? And despite all of their imperfections, you would never part with them. Well, that is how I feel about Tia. She may be misshapen slightly and not perfectly dimensional, but she is still a work of art. Your work of art. I have to go. It's nice meeting you, Lance. Since um, things didn't work out with the Jameson, we got to come up with a plan B. Yeah, I know.
My dearest Lance, Mom, and Uncle Leo, I'm so sorry for everything I've put you through. You don't deserve this pain. My leaving is not for me, it's for you. It's the only way for me to put an end to your hurting. I know you'll all be better off once I'm gone. Your lives will be better without me. With all my love, Tia. Well, let me walk you to your car. Okay. Virginia. Hello? We'll be right over. Come on. Come on. We gotta go. Come on. Let's go. Follow me. Just come on. What's going on? Besides, she's not upstairs. Tia uh, left this note on her bed. This is the happening of you. It's like... Wait, wait. I know where she is. I know where she is. This is where my father, his car was found. This is where he... He killed himself. There she is. Oh my yeah, God. That's true. Lance. You go. Please bring me back my baby. I know. But just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, please. I know you think this is gonna make everyone feel better, but you're wrong. Let's go no, away. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just listen. Just listen. I've got big plans for us. Okay? I, I, I see us growing old together with children and, and grandchildren. And I see you in my life, dear. Les, you don't understand. Do you think I'm gonna leave it? I'm not. I'm not. After everything, I'm here. I'm here, Tia. And God knows you've given me every opportunity to run. But I'm not running. I'm here. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I'm loving you. I'm loving you. 
No, no. No. No, you have to go. No, no. Get out of the car, No! Kids. No! Never give up, do you? I was in hiding. I was in hiding because that was the lie my illness told me. That if I told the truth, that I would disappear. That lie almost ruined my life. Almost killed me. But I'm here with a lot of love and support. I made it. Or shall I say, I'm making it. Day by day. And today I truly feel blessed. Now, as for this man here, I will never understand why he stayed. Why he fought for me. But he did. And now I know that I deserve him. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be happy, to be healthy, and to live a life free of any lies or any judgment. And while I would love to honor my grandfather by filling his seat. I choose to honor him first by getting well, educating others on mental illness, and carrying on his legacy. Trust me, you will see a lot more of Tia Kingston. <laughs>